everybody. It's Annie, and I wanted to do a flip through of this journal. Sorry, I'm gonna try not to hit my tripod. It's um, a gutted book called Birds, Eggs, and Nests. And um, let's see if I can put this under here. Oops. So that you can see this cute little embellishment. And I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Um, this cute little two birds on a limb. Um, and it's held in place by knots on either side uh, of the elastic and then two little um, silver beads on this side held also in place by knots on either side of it. So. When you're up close, it looks like these two little birds are in this nest. Very cute. Um, it has three signatures, you can tell. And the elastic comes out of the back of uh, the back cover. And it has this very large, long spine dangle, um, which kind of looks bird's nesty to me. It has a lot of beads silver um, silver bead for bird, B for bird. Um, it has wooden beads um, and this uh, silk ribbon. So it's attached to the spine by a Tim Holtz uh, paper clip, a bulldog clip, it's a small one. So it easily attaches or detaches. It's very long so you can trim it if you like or attach it to a different book. It's um, uh, neutrals um, because that's very, you know, nature-y. So um, there's also twine in here and another kind of ribbon. So I'll just put that aside and we'll go into the book, okay? Get this in the right place. You can see that it has, that the journal has, um, corner protectors on all four corners. I didn't do a lot to the outside of the book because it was in good condition and I love birds. I have <laughs> I have lots of birds around me like this um, tea caddy and this cute little um, ceramic bird and I don't know I have I have numerous other birds around me similar to that. Um, when you have the spine dangle attached to the spine, I find it a lot easier to take the elastic down to the bottom of the, of the journal. Sorry, I keep moving it. Um, just because the spine dangle is quite cumbersome or quite full, I guess I should say. So in the front, we have some journaling spots. Here's a note from the bookmaker and how to use a journal or ways to use a journal, I guess I could say. And that goes into the library pocket. And then there's a library card for the library pocket. It's been distressed. And a journaling card with more of that ribbon. That, that ribbon is used throughout the journal. And here's my card and another if you wanted to put this somewhere in the book, this book belongs to, and then your name and the ribbon. So this is a page either from this book or from uh, another book that is similar size, one of these concise guides in color about birds. This one is about their eggs and nests, obviously. And it, this, actually this book, this journal is chock full of places to write different cute cards because because I love birds so much, I collect bird ephemera, lots and lots. And you'll see at the end that this journal comes with even more than what you see in here. Um, an extra bag that is chock full of more stuff to put in here. So this is a negative of a Tim Holtz wildflowers die cut. Uh, there's some washi tape there. These papers were coffee dyed. Um, I'm gonna go quite quickly. I, I'm, I'm hoping to go quite quickly because 
There are a lot of pages in this journal, and I may not take everything out to show you. Mm. There's an eggs and a nest under this tree, hollowed out tree. I'm gonna try not to be in the way too much. Um, there's a little Tim Holtz paper clip and another journaling spot and a little envelope. Just put it back like this. And then this is a tag. <laughs> this is my second try on this video. This is a tag that goes into this little flip out. Um, and I'm not going to put that back. Here is a another bird page. And hi, David. My son just walked in. Uh, another bird page. You can hear his cat greeting him. So most of the paper in here is coffee dyed, but some like this, uh, oops, some like this paper is not coffee dyed, but most of it is. Here's a pocket with some journaling spots. I, I love pictures of eggs. I don't know why, I just love the variety. My son feeds the birds out in our patio, front and back patios and he makes sure that they have food every single day where I just have to show up and watch them. Another uh, negative from a die cut. And here's the other side of that bag with uh, more journaling cards. I don't know if that's a heron or what. Um, that, so this side is whatever the facing page was in the book. So it's, this is not a bittern because I'm pretty sure they're different pages. So you can see the washi tape throughout. The um, signatures are pretty similar uh, as far as the papers that are included. Here's another journaling card or tag, I should say, with more of that silk ribbon at the top, another nest and some eggs. I love this page because it's torn. I didn't do that, it came like that. Uh, this is a Edith Holden page. Love those books, right? And then here is a hidden pocket in the center of the center signature, center of the center signature with Lots of ephemera in it, um, journaling cards. So I'm not gonna flip through all of it. Well, I'm not gonna show you exactly all of it, but it's lots and lots of them. And then, uh, oh, let me just say that this is, this blue background is uh, um, wallpaper. So with those black capped chickadees. And then more on this side of the, of the center signature, center of the center signature in that pocket. That's the other part of, other half of the Edith Holden page. And a little pocket here with lots of little bits in it. These are little bird cards. I think I got these from Tracy Fox. It's been a while, so there are a whole bunch of those. I just, I just love those little tea cards or cigarette cards, whichever they are. More beautiful birds. Here's another um, bag with things inside. I won't take those out because they're very similar to what you've already seen and a uh, negative of a bird, um, bird guy. And then another tag in this pocket. Oops. Oh, so this is a page. And then this is a napkin uh, decoupaged over this pocket. Eggs and nests. 
And more little cards in this pocket. I love songbirds, not, <laughs> not birds of prey as much as songbirds. Those are cardinals. Isn't that sweet? That's from an old, old postcard or a greeting card maybe. And get back in there. pocket with more lots more cards in it uh, I don't know there's probably six to twelve in there and this is covered with washi tape and collaged with book page this is cool how that came out and another postcard That looks like another envelope on the other side of this page. A little bitty envelope. And another um, uh, pocket with another envelope that opens. And this folds inside of itself. It's one of those, um, you know, self-folding self envelopes that turns into a letter or, you know, Turns into the thing that you can write your message on. Okay, I'll put that back later. <laughs> and this is from an old postcard, I think. But, and here we have the back of the back cover. So this comes out, another tag, and this is an envelope from something similar to Edith Holden, but it's not Edith Holden, it's a flower book with a collaged stamp and um, cheesecloth. And then there's just a coffee dyed paper inside for a hidden journaling. So that's that. I want to put this aside and show you the extras that come with this. Journal. Oops. So you'll get this bag full of postcards. This is an actual postcard. Oops, sorry. Um, golden crested wrens. And I have, I think you can see that I have uh, dry embossed this half of it. And that shows up. And I think this is Edith Holden. So, it, But it shows up on this side, which looks really, really cool. Yes. Does that say Edith Holden? Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. Yep. Um, and I bought a, like a booklet or a, you know, a packet of um, notes. What are they? Postcards like that. And then here are just more, like lots and lots more cards, journaling cards, really great fantastic pictures that I have collected over the years. And this natural history birds. Just tons of great images that will hopefully inspire you if this is a if this is going to be a nature notebook, a nature journal. Um, these are um, little like hidden note cards. Um, or journaling spots that are stapled and washi taped together. And I'm sorry, I don't remember where I got these. Um, anyway, there are, are several of those. And then these cute little, um, cute little cards that you could write something small on or use as prompts. For journaling and then a little envelope with oh a little nest that you can put on the envelope um, collage it if you like or you can put it on the front of the 
um, the journal, if you like. Um, you know, just wherever you think it would look good. Put it on a page, whatever. But I, I made a little nest for you as well, and that's in this little envelope. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate you checking out this journal, and I'll see you soon. Bye.